For those of you that watch some of my earlier videos, it will probably not surprise you that I personally invest most of my money into a passive global equity index fund. This strategy is both extremely simple and very difficult to beat. I first came across the simple global tracker approach in the popular book by Lars Croyer called Investing Demystified and it explains that markets are efficient and that most people cannot outperform the market or pick a fund manager to outperform the market for them after fees and expenses. Therefore, they'll be better off by becoming a rational investor and adopting a rational portfolio. The rational portfolio consists of two asset classes, an extremely low risk asset like cash or government bonds and a low cost world equity market index tracker. The global equity market index tracker is a product that allows you to own global equities based on their market value at an extremely low cost. How to choose a global tracker. What to look for. All world or developed world. A lot of world index funds only include the developed world countries and skip smaller companies in emerging markets. Not a deal breaker for me, but worth bearing in mind. These are often slightly lower in cost. Diversification. How many stocks are included within a fund? Some funds use a sampled approach, but as a general rule of thumb, the more stocks, the more your fund represents the global markets that it is tracking. Once again, all the options have an incredibly diverse range of companies within them to be fair, but also worth bearing in mind. Cost. As I've talked about a number of times, cost is one of the most important factors when it comes to investing. ETFs versus index funds. I'm pretty indifferent between these two. The main point to consider is your broker costs and dealing costs as on some platforms these can differ between the two. For example, on Hargreaves Lansdowne, £100,000 held in an ETF would cost you £45 a year, compared to £450 if the investment was in an index fund. There is also dealing fees to take into consideration. So what options are currently available? There's five main options available to UK investors. I've taken the following snapshot from the Monovator website. The index fund by HSBC is the cheapest. The Vanguard FTSE Global All Cap Index Fund is the most expensive on the list, but also the most diversified and includes a small allocation to smaller companies. Essentially, there's very little to choose from between these options. All are relatively cheap compared to the options available, say, 10-15 to 15 years ago. All have had similar returns as well. I'd be happy with any of these options as my core holding. I often see heated debates on forums on the intricacies of which is the better fund, etc. But I think this misses the point. The most important driver for achieving financial freedom and getting the snowball rolling, especially at the beginning of your journey, is your savings rate. If you can increase your income or cut your expenses to invest more money, this will make a far bigger difference in the long run than obsessing over an extra few percentage points of return. At the end of the day, just setting up a direct debit into a global index fund in an ISA and enrolling in a company pension to get the free match and getting on with your life will get you to financial freedom at some point. Save a bit more and you'll get there sooner. Spend a bit more and you'll probably enjoy the journey but get there slower. Life is all about trade-offs. The global index fund strategy is a boring and lazy approach to investing. But for me, boring and lazy is good. The beauty of the one tracker strategy is its simplicity and the prevention of the irrational human brain getting in the way of rational decision making.